Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of radar systems and today's topic is integration of radar pulses. In this video I am going to talk about what do you mean by integration process and what is integration of radar pulses, what is its physical significance and how this integration is being performed in the case of the radar systems. Let us begin. First let us talk about what is integration over here and why it is required, why we are saying that integration is being used to improve the detection capability. See what happens, radar, in the case of the radar, the return echo which is being reflected from the target and being received by the radar, so depending upon the strength of echo signal, the presence of target is being identified and in that particular case, each and every target may return multiple pulses. So, multiple pulses are usually returned from a particular target on each radar scan and these many pulses which are returning, so these pulses can be used to improve the detection capability of radar. That is why integration of radar pulses, it improves the detection capability of the radar. So, when we are saying that many pulses are returned, so we, we must be able to calculate the total number of pulses which are returned from a particular point target. So, if n is the total number of pulses which are returned from a particular point target, we can calculate it by using this formula n is equal to theta b into fp upon theta s. Theta b is what? This is the antenna beam width. fp, fp is a pulse repetition rate and the fp is in hertz and theta s is the antenna scanning rate which is in the degree per second or it can be calculated by n is equal to theta b into fp upon 6 times omega r. Here omega r this is the revolution per minute means for a 360 degree rotating antenna when the antenna is rotating ab about the 360 degree angle. So n is what? n is the total number of pulses which are returned from a point target and it is also known as hits per scan or pulses per scan. So you can remember this name as well. At the same time the integration of pulses, integration is what? Integration is nothing but the summing. So integration of pulses in this particular process that is the summation of all the radar echoes received from the target and various techniques are used for the integration of radar pulses. So process of summing all the radar echoes which are available from a target it is known as a integration and the most common radar integration method is the cathode ray tube display and it is combined with the integrating properties of eye and brain of the radar operator. Right? So this is a typical method of integration which is utilized. Now integration can be performed in two ways. So integration can be accomplished either before the detector which is used in the receiver stage which is the second detector or after the second detector means before the second detector in the IF amplifier or after the second detector which is in the video. So it can be performed at the two stages. So the stage when the integration is done before the detector then it is known as a pre-detection or coherent integration. When integration is performed after the detector means in the video stage then it is known as a post detection or non-coherent detection and you must remember that pre-detection integration it requires there is a requirement to preserve the phase of echo signal. So the phase of echo signal it must be preserved if we want to utilize the full benefit of this integration process or the summing process. So here we can calculate for pre-detection integrator, for post-detection integrator the value of signal to noise ratio. If we say n pulses, total number of pulses are n, if the n pulses they are having same signal to noise ratio and they are integrated by a lossless 
प्री डिटेक्शन इंटीग्रेटर मीन्स बिफोर द सेकेंड डिटेक्टर देन इंटीग्रेटेड एस एन आर इंटीग्रेटेड सिग्नल टू नॉइस रेशियो विल बी दी एन टाइम्स ऑफ द सिग्नल टू नॉइस रेशियो ऑफ अ सिंगल पल्स एंड वेन यू हैव टू राइट डाउन द रडार इक्वेशन बाई यूजिंग सिग्नल टू नॉइस रेशियो देन द टर्म ऑफ सिग्नल टू नॉइस रेशियो एंड रडार इक्वेशन इट विल बी एस एन आर एन दिस एन सब्सक्रिप्ट इट डिनोट्स दी एन एथ फॉर दी ऑल एन पल्सिस सो सिग्नल टू नॉइस रेशियो एस बाय एन ऑफ एन दिस इज वॉट सिग्नल टू नॉइस रेशियो वन अपॉन एन सो इन दिस मैनर इट कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दी प्री डिटेक्शन इंटीग्रेटर एंड सिमिलरली यू कैन कैलकुलेट फॉर दी पोस्ट डिटेक्शन इंटीग्रेटर ऑल्सो सो अगेन इफ वी एज्यूम दैट देर आर एन पल्सिस एन ऑल आर हैविंग सेम सिग्नल टू नॉइस रेशियो विच आर इंटीग्रेटेड बाय post detection integrator means after the second detector then integrated signal to noise ratio will be less than n times in the pre detection it will be equal to n times but here this particular value will be less than n times the signal to noise ratio of a single pulse why it is less than that because here integration is performed after the second detector and this less which is the loss actually so loss in the efficiency it is because of the non linear action of second detector because the signal is passing through the second detector so the non linear action of second detector it causes a loss which converts part of the signal energy into the noise energy during the rectification process so for the integration efficiency of for post detection integration the integration efficiency which is denoted by ei that is what that could be written by using this term signal to noise ratio for first term upon n time signal to noise ratio of n term so in this way you can calculate the loss efficiency or you can say that the integration efficiency over here now you must remember that the improvement in the signal to noise ratio because we are saying what when we are combining all the n pulses which have been returned from the radar means which have been reflected by a target and being received at the radar so by using integration process the efficiency is being increased so now when we have to calculate the improvement in the signal to noise ratio and n pulses are integrated which is known as integration improvement factor so integration improvement factor that is denoted by ii and when we are talking about n pulses ii times n that is equal to what n times ei n and it is actually equivalent to the same as the equivalent number of pulses integrated so if you have to write down the term for equivalent number of pulses integrator that is nothing but n eq and this is same as the integration improvement factor and when you are talking about the post detection integration it means n eq it will be less than n but for pre detection integration these two terms will be equal because i have already told you there is a loss and that is due to the non linear action of the second detector that is why in the post detector integration n eq is less than n what happens see if you are talking about same integrated snr same integrated signal to noise ratio then post detection integration requires more pulses than the pre detection you must remember it in case of post detection more number of pulses are required and by assuming signal to noise ratio per pulse is same in both the cases so when you have to compare and you have to analyze you can explain accordingly and when large number of pulses are integrated it means small snr pulses when signal to noise ratio per pulse is small then we are saying that large number of pulses are integrated and the difference between the pre detection and post detection will be significant this particular difference will be very high so similarly the radar equation when we are calculating when we are considering that n pulses are integrated so the radar equation can be modified also so when we are saying that n pulses are integrated then radar equation can be written as what pt into g radar cross section 
ए ई अपॉन फोर पाई स्क्वायर के टी नॉट बी एन एफ एन एस अपॉन एन विच इज द सिग्नल टू नॉइस रेशियो फॉर एन पल्स एंड एस बाई एन ऑफ एन दिस टर्म सिग्नल टू नॉइस रेशियो फॉर एन एथ दिस इज द सिग्नल टू नॉइस रेशियो ऑफ ईच पल्स ओवर हेयर सो यू कैन कैलकुलेट द रडार रेंज ऑल्सो बाय सब्सटीट्यूटिंग द वारियस फैक्टर्स विच वी आर अवेयर विथ so in this particular manner you can explain how integration impacts the efficiency thank you so much for watching this video